The focus turned to Louisiana and Mississippi this week as the crest of the Mississippi River began to work its way south of Memphis. Layton residents and businesses located between the Mississippi River and the mainline levee are reduced to evacuating themselves and their belongings as the river continues its inevitable rise in the South Mississippi Delta. Backwater area residents and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers continued their preparations this week. And I'd be the first one to get water when it comes over the levee. One of the first. Mike Brown has lived for 12 years in this home located two miles inside the Yazoo backwater levee. It's come close to being flooded before, but this is the most serious threat yet. Fortunately, Brown operates a construction business, so he has the bulldozers and dump trucks to build a levee around his home. They're forecasting us 95, 96. So if it doesn't break and we don't have, it, don't have excessive rainfall in the next 30 days, I'll be okay. Located about 10 miles north of Vicksburg, Mississippi, the Yazoo Backwater Levee lessens backwater flooding from the Mississippi River via the Yazoo River. For the first time, however, the Mississippi River will be high enough to make water flow over the top of the YBL starting Sunday, May 15th. Even if all goes as forecast, 375,000 acres will be flooded in the South Mississippi Delta. That includes 175,000 acres of cropland. Should the YBL fail, even more. Starting last Saturday and finishing this week, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers hired two private contractors to place a thick poly barrier over a portion of the YBL. The water that you see back here is coming from the Yazoo River and the Mississippi River. The Mississippi River itself is located about a mile behind the camera. That creates a lot of pressure on the levee here in this area. Now this levee is designed to have water overtop it or flow across it. Now if that occurs though, you get water flowing down this side of the levee. That can create erosion and possibly lead to a breach. As an extra measure of protection, the Corps has laid four miles of this heavy plastic barrier on here to help keep the erosion to a minimum and hopefully prevent any breach. I feel confident about the, the levee that we have down through here. And um, like I said, this, this protection that we're doing here is just to keep it from unraveling on the land side slope, just for protection. Hunter Fordyce's company helped install the protective barrier. This is kind of personal for me because I, I do own a farm about uh, four or five miles north of where we're standing right here um, that is absolutely in the backwater and has flooding on it right now. We're at the, uh, at the very edges of, uh, of design uh, for this system. So the system is under tremendous, tremendous pressure. And Leighton, this is a piece of the barrier right here. Hopefully it will do its job and prevent a failure in that part of the levee.